Mark, we're seeing more and more business leaders talking about uh, and speaking up about social problems and, and trying to show that they can be a force for good and still make money for all of their shareholders. What's your thinking on this? What is Hyatt's mission? We consider ourselves very much a purpose-driven company, and our purpose is to care for people so they can be their best. And that sense of care is really begins with empathy. You have to get to know someone well enough to understand where they are and what they might need. I think that uh, it is true that more and more CEOs are focusing on these topics, and I think the fact is a lot of it has to do with the expectations of our employees and of our guests, in our case. And people expect that companies that they're affiliated with, either working for or doing business with, will stand for something. Just about everything I read about Hyatt uh, deals with things like wellness and empathy, emotional connectivity, human principles. You know, most businesses don't think or act this way. Why is this so important to Hyatt? First and foremost, we have, we have to recognize that we have to be good humans to one another. And if we are successful in doing that, then we can actually make a difference in the lives of our guests, and that really translates into good business. You know, wellness is just one of many issues that are facing the American people uh, these days. Of course, there's immigration and diversity issues and gun control. Uh, do you believe it's your responsibility as a CEO to speak up on these issues? We've seen other CEOs doing this. I do have a responsibility as a CEO to speak up on those things that are relevant to our uh, colleagues and to our guests because it's partly how we define what the brand stands for. Um, people make a choice to affiliate with a brand to either come to work for us or stay in our hotels. And so they need to understand what we stand for. And so in that way, it's my responsibility to actually uh, be clear about that. There have been many instances, whether that was gay marriage in Illinois, which is where we're headquartered and have a lot of hotel operations, or the DACA issue. These are topics that we felt were really important, reflected our values, and were topics that we really needed to step into. Is this something that you've been doing since you became CEO of Hyatt 12 years ago, or is this something that's changed? Well, I would say that my level of engagement and uh, our consciousness around the topics that are becoming more and more talked about in, the, in our society is definitely elevated. Um, and it's elevated over time because I think more and more people are finding a voice. They're finding a voice directly, that is within the workplace, but also in social media, and these topics are more, um, more n widely uh, discussed and written about. Um, in fact, including uh, Fortune's efforts to really elevate these topics um, at a time when there are a lot of challenges in the world. Do you think that these conversations are bringing people together, or is it just creating more divisiveness? I think uh, the examples that I have seen in which CEOs have stepped forward to play a role or, or share their voice in, on a topic have um, elevated the dialogue and I think included more people in the, di in the discussion, and in some cases uh, created some, uh, some feedback and counterpoints being brought to bear. But I think that's a good thing. We need to elevate the understand, level of understanding and the level of engagement. That, uh, that's what I think would be beneficial to society and to the world.